Hey guys, it's Lauren. Welcome back to another episode of Spellbound Dolls. I believe it's week eight, but this week's theme was Horror Week, which I did expand to include Halloween photos in general and just more cuter, spooky photos. So before we start, I do have two announcements. The first one is I'm running for Best Dress in the Sophie Awards this year, so if you haven't voted yet, I'd really appreciate it if you could vote for me. If um, not, that is totally okay. Um, yeah. Good luck to everyone! My second announcement is July 29th is the due date for my American Girl music video contest. Um, so if you're gonna do that, here's a little reminder. And yeah, so let's get into the photos. I did have to be a little bit more picky this week because they are so hard to rank and everyone is getting so good. So yeah, let's get into the photos. Okay, so first up we have Elizabeth, and she did a trick-or-treating photo. This photo is so cute. I love all the details that you put into it, and I love her, like, bin of candy, and I love everyone's trick-or-treating bags. It's just such a cute photo, and I love all the costumes, and I love how it almost has a very, like, yellowish, orangish, orangish tint to it, if that makes sense, because that definitely um, screams Halloween, but yeah, my only one complaint, though, is you do have, like, a cool foggy thing on there, which I really like, but it almost feels like the rest of the picture has this filter on. I'm not sure if you put, like, a filter on or not, but it just seems very faded or something, and maybe you could have just adjusted that, but yeah, other than that, though, this picture is so cute. Next, we have Juniper, and she is being haunted by a ghost. I'm not sure if it's, like, the ghost version of herself or not. I can't remember, but if it's a different doll, like, it looks really good, but I'm not sure if you just edited her in again, but it looks really good. I can't tell if you did that, but first of all, Juniper looks great. I love her eyes. I love her hair. The lighting around her is really nice, and I really like how she's very bright than, um, around the ghost. It, there's not as much lighting, so I really like that. Um, I love the creepy bloody knife and the blood on her face. Like, that's very creepy, but that's um, definitely goes with the theme, so I think you did a great job conveying the creepy theme, and I don't think I have any complaints, so great job. I also love the background, so yeah. Next, we have Natalie, and she did a It-inspired photo, which is the creepy clown movie that I will, like, never watch, but yeah, literally, the outfit is so on point. The balloon is so cool. I also love where you took it. I just really like the background um, the yellow pops so nicely. Her hair and her eyes also look great, and the lighting in general is very good in this photo. I can't decide if the balloon looks very edited or not, because I kind of like the edited aspect. Like, I kind of like the, the shine on the balloon, even though it looks kind of fake. It almost goes with the photo, so yeah, I don't really have any complaints, so great job this week, Natalie. So next we have Brianna, and she's being sucked into the mirror. This idea was definitely very creepy, but very creative, and I love that. I love the reflection. I love how you edited the back of her. It almost looks like the Anna snapped or something, but yeah, I also love the black and white. I thought that was a nice extra touch. Um, I just, I really like it. My only one complaint, though, it does seem a little weird that you took it right next to, like, a human-sized sink, so I just thought the place was a little strange, but... Other than that, you did an amazing job with this photo. First place this week goes to Natalie, congratulations. Second to Juniper, third to Elizabeth, and then fourth to Brianna. You might have noticed that I didn't do a bottom two, which I will address in a second, but first, the two people who used their passes this week were Catherine and Nenea, so yeah, which is totally okay. But now, moving on to the elimination, I do have to eliminate Gabby. I didn't get her photo this week, and I did, like, message the group chat and message her separately. Um, but I just have to be fair to the other contestants. I really hate eliminating people this way, but yeah. So to Gabby, it was, it's so sad to see you go. I think you are so talented, and literally your photos have been so nice. You did, you've done such a great job, especially with, like, her eyes, and I think you are so talented, and please don't let this discourage you. I'm so sorry about this, but I just have to be fair to everyone else, um, so... Next week's theme is going to be Lyric Week, so you can pick any song and do a lyric-inspired photo um, to that. The photos will be due Friday, July 31st, so good luck to everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed this episode, and I'm very excited to see what everyone does for Lyric Week. So, yeah, bye guys!